starts with the potato. Look at that chopping speed. Egg on top too. <laughs> They're so addictive. Once you start eating, you can't stop. <laughs> Yes, yes, hobby, hobby. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Kushtia, Bangladesh, and right now we're gonna go eat chatputi and fuchka, which are two of the ultimate Bangladeshi street foods. You're gonna love their amazing cooking skills and that burst of tangy flavor. Oh, and this is a chickpeas? Yes. There's two stalls in this area, and we're gonna try one thing at each place. Uh, so, what are we Mama, gonna eat here? So, we are gonna eat chatpuri from this place. Chatpuri? Yeah, chatpuri. Chatpuri, oh, just This is potato? Oh, starts with the potato. Look at that chopping speed. Amazing. Oh, I grabbed some like, cucumbers and onion mixture. Oh, and this is a uh, chickpeas or dal. This is the, the bucket. The bucket of taka? Tak. 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 Yeah. Oh, with a little more gravy of the of the doll. Oh, and the stir. And the pole is still going. Oh, don't bite that. They're gonna break down the fuchka. Crumples it. She just crumples it in. Oh, there's, it's, they're not done yet. Oh, the shaved egg. The shaved egg. Oh. Oh, I don't even know what he's shaving there. <laughs> what is that? Cheese? It's egg. Egg. It's egg? Egg, egg, egg. So, two types of egg. Yeah. Like finely grated egg and sh shredded egg. Oh, he's not done. He keeps going. Oh, the jal. Jal, jal. Orange. <laughs> it's not stopping. <laughs> oh, alright. Oh, yeah. It's going to be an interesting one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh don't know what. He is an absolute master. He just whipped that up. Adding everything precisely. So many things. He just kept on going, adding layer upon layer. What a, what a master. That looks amazing. Genius how he just made that entire thing with that doll, the chickpea mixture, the tamarind, the layers of egg, the shavings of egg, the green chilies, the coriander, the tamarind chutney, the masalas and spices, the coriander. The potato. I almost forgot about that hand squeeze of potato at the bottom. <laughs> he just kept going. <laughs> he added at least like 20 layers to this. Oh man, and the green chilies. What a mixture. <laughs> oh wow. What a mixture. Oh man. Oh, that is hearty and so much flavor in every single dimension. Right. The tartness of the tamarind, the green chilies, the masalas in there. Right. Yeah, I love this. And I think we need more, more, you know. The... Oh, sure. I try to talk like that. Talk. We need more talk. More talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That tamarind juice. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Drain it. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, that extra sourness from the tamarind. Oh, that's that is so good. Man. Once you start eating this, you cannot stop. It's 
it's like that good. Because it really touches on every single taste bud. Right. All at once. Mmm. <laughs> This is a complete meal all in one. Your starches, your protein, vegetables, and just flavor in every way. This is like our, one of our, kind of our natural food, like, uh, mm. like street food. Like because it's very cannot, popular. Yeah, it's very popular uh, because we love to eat puchka and chakuri. So I think we have Chakpuri. had, like, we are having chakuri right now. So we are going to for puchka. Oh, so next up we're going to eat puchka? Yeah at the next stall. Yeah, right. What a stop. Man, those guys are just so skilled at what they do. We're actually moving to the next spot for one of the great street foods of Bangladesh. Hmm? I <laughs> uh, Now put the water inside? Yeah, put Oh, you put it yourself? Can he eat it? No, he just gave you for a taste. Talk, yeah. No! Whoa! This is like that. With egg on top too? <laughs> oh, he makes it rain egg. Wow. Oh, one of it's sweet and one is sour, right? He's so skilled, he's so fast, he mixes and squeezes with his hand all of the spices and then serves it to you with the tamarind water and spiced water on the side. You fill it up yourself and you devour. That's a small mountain of toppings and crunchy shells. So I got the, this is the sweet and the spicy. He loaded up so many toppings that I can't even see the opening. Can't even see the opening of it. So I'm just gonna pour and hope it goes in. <laughs> yeah, that should be good. Then you gotta pick this guy up. Well, I'm gonna set this over here for now. Oh man, this is... Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. oh wow. Yeah, that he is... He just killed it. <laughs> yeah, he... That's a game over food guy right there. Whoa. It's perfect in every way you can imagine. Right. All of those spices, the potatoes and the dal, the egg. He made it rain, grated egg all over the entire plate. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Even more better. Mm -hmm. I love the sour one even better, too. It's bright and refreshing. So much spice and flavor. That is. He is the master. <laughs> He's the master, yeah. He is the master of Puchka right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man, they're so addictive. Once you start eating, you can't stop. Yes, yes, hobby, hobby. Oh, Mark, you, you need to see this. Like, she's having that. <laughs> Ipsha, yes, Ipsha. <laughs> so good. So good. You can't stop. Which is favorite? Yeah, this is the best. Our favorite. This one is our favorite. He's re, re, topping me up. 
जाल जाल ओ इस वक्त इन्हें आप बच्चों को जाल ग्रीन चिली ओह हुक्ड इट अप Go next one. Next one. Oh, loaded with green chili and a lot more spices. <laughs> oh, yeah. Even more better, bro. Mm. 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 Oh man, that is. You cannot believe that flavor. <laughs> He's a master of snacks. Wow. Only for you. Makano. We got a specially made yes. next snack called <laughs> Makano. Oh, the mustard oil. Yeah. It immediately hits you like mm. crispy, mustardy, and so much coriander in there. Yeah, and it has like what do we call chanachur in it? The uh, crispy. Yeah, crispy. That one is chanachur. Yeah, that's great. No, they keep putting it all in here. Keep it. Too good. Too good. Yeah. Now we are gonna eat the halim first. Oh, halim. Yeah. Halim, yeah. Oh, he serves halim from this cart. <laughs> <Yes>. Amazing. <laughs> Oh, that smells so good. It's steamy and meaty. What is that? Is that vinegar? It's like a porridge consistency made with mutton. Yeah. Mutton. And then what is the is it wheat or uh, what is the well, grain that makes it? That's dal. What do you oh, call? Oh, it's dal. Mix of various oh, dal. Nice. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. So I've had halim, but this is a, a different version than I've ever had. Yeah. And even you can see the color of this is darker too. Yeah. Darker. You can actually see chilies in it. You can see the the spices in it. <laughs> wow, that's tasty. Oh man. That is salty and meaty. Meaty. And yeah, it's really good. That's a straight up like melted meat porridge right there. Oh. It's so smooth and so porridge like and then every now and then you get a nice nugget of mutton that's so tender and a green chili in there. This is like a halim like I've never had in anywhere else. Right, this is right. This, this one is more very spicy. Unique. This one is it's very more spicy. Unique. Amazing flavor. We are since our childhood we eat here for halim. Yeah. You've been eating here since yeah. your childhood? Yeah, cool. exactly the same flavor. Wow, that goes down almost too easy. Halim was excellent. We are walking down the street to the next place, and yes. we are right now in downtown Kushtia. We have some pakoras. What we call is gondhavadaler bora. So it's a kind of uh, leaf which has a unique oh, flavor in it. Oh, is this yeah. the one? Wait, this, this is the one. This is, the is this one. the one you were telling me that the raw leaf smells right, like smells terrible, terrible, but the cooked yes. leaf tastes delicious. It's delicious. I think it's good for you know that when you have cold, ah. it's very good for your. Gonna okay, yeah. so this is a special type of pakora that they make only in Kushtia. Yeah, uh, only in Kushtia. I, I saw them in various cities as well, but in Kushtia, they are very popular. Wow. These places are popular, just a crowd of people standing around him. And you should have seen that smile. He's doing it for 15 or 16 years. Wow. Yeah, he's, he just stayed in. Oh, he knows what he's doing. 
deep frying, shallow frying those pakoras until just like green brown and crispy. Man, it smells good. They're like little sliders, like little slider patties. And you, they just top it with cucumber and that's it, right? Mm. Awesome, right? Crispy on the outside and it's like it's real juicy on the inside. Yeah. It's salty. And that leaf has like a, a unique taste. Yeah. Wow. Almost like spinach. Yeah, almost like spinach. But more fragrant. Right. Oh yeah, they're really good. <laughs> this is really good, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You get to have the freshness from the cucumber, yeah. That's yeah, because they're like, they are pretty greasy. Yeah. So that cucumber helps in the digestion. Right. They prepare another pakora with the head of the mutton. The head of the mutton? So he's making a fresh batch right now. He just takes it with his fingers. It's a mixture, I think, of vegetables plus a little bit of mutton head. Mix it in his fingers, drops it in the desi ghee, and then deep fries until crispy and golden. So onion, a little bit of mutton head, and then again, deep fried till completely crispy all the way through. Oh man. This one is better. Yeah. <laughs> it has so, mutton head in it. Yeah. It's amazing how that little bit of meat just powers the entire pakora. Right. The onions. The mutton crispy. head actually gives the flavor to the onion itself, like the pakora. Yeah, for sure. So it's not meaty, but it's uh, flavor. That is some crispy friedness. Onik <laughs> balo. <laughs> he's the man. Don Labat. Yes, he's the man. <laughs> Thank you. He's the man. Don Labat. Friendly, jolly man making meat, mutton head pakoras. Oh, that was great. This place is a street food just. Just there's unbelievable amounts of street food here. <laughs> it's just everywhere and people are just eating all over the place. Next street food stall. Yeah, this is like a, a potato, boiled potato, what we call aludam. Oh, these are the potatoes. Yeah. Whoa, what the hell Oh man. Okay, so for the potatoes, he has this whole pot. They're already spiced, caked in spice. He puts it into a piece of paper, slices them up, adds some more masala, adds a little bit of oil, I think, and then serves it to you. You want to maximize the masala though. Wipe up as much as possible. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. You can feel the coriander. Mm-hmm. Coriander also seed. Coriander seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coriander seed. The cumin seed. The cumin seed and the like a little bit of gravy. oil yes. to make it kind of juicy. And the potatoes are just melting your mouth creamy. Yeah. So good. And a little bit of citrus too. I'm not sure if it's lime juice. Yeah. Uh, lime maybe, juice? Maybe. Maybe lime juice in there. Lime juice or vinegar. You can see the action and the <laughs> so many people yeah. around. It's so energetic and so much. It's just like street food. You could just walk down the street and taste everything in a row. There's right. so much street food. <laughs> wow. This is good. Very good. This is the leaf. This is the leaf that made those so those pot orders went. Yeah, right, leaf, right, 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 right. <laughs> The final thing we have to do is smell these leaves. Smell those leaves. Crumple it up. <laughs> <laughs> it really does smell like gas. <laughs> but, but the pakora is really good though. Yeah, the pakora is incredible. <laughs> that's the transformation process. Oh, what a leaf. Like, yeah. oh, that's, that's the most gaseous leaf I've ever smelled.
<laughs> Wait, do you eat it raw at all? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Don't try to eat it Don't raw. Don't try raw. Don't try. Raw. <laughs> Don't try. Oh. <laughs> 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 and what? Gaseous. <laughs> 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 <laughs>